In April 2019, at a small village named Ratadero, Mr. Jalbani brought Ali, his six-year-old son, to a hospital to check for the possibility of HIV infection. The father did this after he saw his local pediatrician rummage through the trash for syringes. The pediatrician then used the second-hand syringe to treat the boy, despite his father's protest. After a month, the father took his boy to another clinic because he heard that some of the 900 children who were affected by the HIV outbreak had seeked medical care from the same pediatrician. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus and is primarily a sexually transmitted disease. Even though the six-year-old showed no signs or symptoms of acquiring HIV, the doctor on duty sent the child's blood for testing in the laboratory. An infected person produces antibodies in response to the HIV around 2 to 12 weeks after exposure to the virus. The test can detect the presence of these antibodies in the blood, but cannot test for HIV itself. The blood test came back positive. HIV destroys the body's immune system and causes AIDS. AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Normally, when foreign particles such as bacteria or viruses enter our bloodstream, our white blood cells are able to identify them and destroy them accordingly. This is how our immune system protects the body. However, HIV acts by destroying the victim's immune system. The body is unable to produce sufficient white blood cells or antibodies to provide the immunity needed to protect the person. This is how the virus earns the title immunodeficiency virus. The infections, which are normally mild, may prove to be fatal to a person with AIDS. The signs and symptoms of AIDS include chronic fever, severe diarrhea lasting for months, pneumonia, and cancer of the blood vessels or Kaposi's sarcoma. It can also cause brain infection and widespread tuberculosis. AIDS is called a syndrome because it is a disease with many symptoms occurring at the same time and is usually fatal. Most patients die within two years as treatment is not that effective. Needle sharing, reuse of infected needles like in the above case, are not the only way HIV can be transmitted. As mentioned before, it is primarily a sexually transmitted virus and can spread through sexual intercourse with an infected person. It can also spread through blood transfusion if the blood is acquired from an infected person and not properly screened prior to donation. The virus may also transmit vertically. During pregnancy, the virus may pass from the infected mother to her fetus. In this case, the child will be born with the disease. There are drugs available that restrict the attachment of HIV with the host cell or stop it from replicating in the host cell. Such drugs are collectively termed as ARTs or antiretroviral drug therapy. In the above mentioned story, after receiving the boy's diagnostic report, the doctor prescribed the child ART drugs and is on his way to recovery. He also advised him and the father that in the case the boy develops AIDS, people can shake hands with him, share toilet seats and bathe in the same pond as him. AIDS also does not spread through coughs or mosquitoes. Care should be given so that syringes are not reused. The other children in the village should also be tested for the virus. Thank you for your continuous support, especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.